Hey, this is Tom from North County Lawnmower. I just wanted to show the latest in our uh, solar cart. We did one before. Now this one's kind of a solar cart on steroids because we have a 400 amp hour uh, EG4LL battery, which is this battery right here. You can see it's a really cool battery. The thing I like about it the most is it has a uh, breaker in here built in, so I don't have to worry about having a shut off switch for it. I can just turn the battery off. There's the off switch there. Um, if I put this on here, Let's see, should bring up that it's actually charging. It uh, shows the, the, where it's at in the capacity there. Let's see, it looks like it's 56%. Uh, it's a great battery. I'm running um, two refrigerators. One's a double door refrigerator and one's just a regular old style refrigerator. I got a 2000 watt uh, rich solar uh, inverter and that seems to handle everything that I need it to handle. Uh, here I've got 2 watt cable running up and I've kind of backed it up with a 250 amp br uh, breaker right there or fuse. Just in case anything fails this will be the the final uh, shut off. I mean it will go high. I, watch, I was watching a guy and he did run it up to 300 amps and I really don't want to do that because that will take about you know the wires okay for 250 amps basically so and then what I've got here is I've got a uh, 10 uh, gauge wire running from these 50 amp uh, breakers that way I can shut each individual charge controller off and turn it on uh, I, I wanted to do two of these because I wanted to have two solar arrays so these are the uh, 30 amp charge controllers from Victron it's really cool because you can see um, the state, let me just bring it up here on my phone. Uh, you can see the state of the charge and what's going on in each array. So I say this is array number one over here. Um, you just connect. And right now it's, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning, it's about 91 degrees outside, and it's bringing in 230. One watts. Now I don't have the the uh, panels angled at all, so it's not it, probably the most efficient way, but it seems to work good enough for this. Uh, the array number two would be this one here. It's fetching the data here. So 231 watts on array number two. So we're running at about 460 watts or so on both of these coming into the the battery. Now this is kind of a cool deal here. Uh, this is your uh, PV shutoff switch. Now this neat thing about this is you can run two arrays into it and that's what I did with this. So uh, if I have an emergency I can just shut these switches off and of course they're fused close to the panel so if there's any problem uh, the fuse will take care of it. Now this little shed here that I've got it is pretty much mouse proof. I didn't want anything coming in chewing on the wires but it does get warm, so what I've got right now is I've got a little computer fan. You can kind of see down there in the, in the corner there, there's a little uh, intake there. I've got an intake over here, and I've got a little computer fan running. I just plug this in, and then that will bring in cool air. Um, I'm still going to work on that a little bit more. I might have some exhaust fans on these two vents actually pulling the warm air out of this little room here. But uh, yeah, we've been running it overnight. It's, it's keeping the two refrigerators running great. Uh, seems to bring in enough power. I could bring in more power uh, to charge it, but I don't really need to. So uh, uh, as a lot of people ask, have asked in the past, this is basically a vegetable carrier that grocery stores use to haul vegetables around. You can get something similar to this probably at Uline or something like that, but it works really well because it's got all these venting in the back, you know, it leaves it fairly open. And uh, on this solar cart, I did the uh, inverter just right against the, uh, the hand truck. So it has a lot of air circulation around it. Um, later I could add a 12 volt um, fuse box on there. If I wanted to run any 12 volt uh, appliances like I had on the last one, but I wanted to keep it simple this time. If I need that, I'll, I'll do it. 
And as far as charging the battery up from uh, shore power, I've got a separate battery charger that I figure I just put a couple of alligator clips on and charge the battery up if I need to. But I'm really not worried about it. I want to use it solar mostly. So hopefully this gives you some ideas here. I got the these uh, these are like the, the connectors there to connect the the positive on one side and the negative on the other. Um, those bus bars are pretty heavy duty, so I got an extra fuse here for this fuse box here. So here's a quick shot of the panels I got set up. There's four 200 watt panels. Basically two arrays, 400 watts each. Uh, I just got them on some uh, strut that uh, you use to hang pipe like in uh, parking garages and stuff like that that I got. So I just wired it up to that so it's still portable. Um, I might hook it up the panels on like a uh, one of these awning things or rig something up for that. Keep it cool inside but I'm definitely going to weigh down the, the legs probably with concrete blocks just to hold it down steady. All right, so that's pretty much it on the panels. Pretty much set up for what we need it for. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the video and maybe it gives you some ideas and uh, if you have any questions or comments, just uh, ask me down below. Thanks for watching.